Ooh -wee. It's cold today. So, there we are. Ready for another painting session. Carrying on from where we left off yesterday, straight in, straight in to working on this tree here. Uh, should, fingers crossed, get it finished today. That's the aim. So let's see how we get on. It's nice to go straight in with the oil today. No messing around with acrylic. So getting straight into the tree here, mixing up some of the green and uh, using the, once again, same rigger brush that I always use. And uh, it needs to be a bit more opaque it's just not quite sitting on there properly. It's a, bit too, a little bit too thin and then just drawing in the leaves. So let me get going on this bit. I'll, I'll come back to you in a second after uh, we've got the majority of this bit done and then we'll, I'll show you when, how we're gonna move on to the next bit. looks finished but actually it's not there's quite a bit more to do we've got the uh, top of the tree here and that sort of reaches out into the sky a bit more and then we've got little twigs and branches and lots of different colors on top so almost there so I'm just going to show you a close-up here of the leaves I've put in on that tree let's see if it will focus so there you go, that's just to give you an idea. I mean, that's that's quite sort of fine detail if I you know, just give you a frame of reference there, my fingers. Finally finished that tree. Notice how I've got the camera set just so it cuts my hair off, because it's looking a bit Time to do the splishy splashy bit. Been twenty nights and twenty days Lost without a friendly face No reflection from my soul Emptiness is rising tall Calling to my brighter side Wishing for a place to hide A place to leave the dark in me Forever And ever Chasing Just as a little tip, doing the um water like this <clears throat> and in particular doing these ripples it helps to be doing doing it on the wet because I mean I've put the the downward sort of greens here 
and uh, now doing these ripples sideways on like I'm doing here it actually helps when it's wet on wet because you get that soft that softness in the ripples and they don't they're not too hard and also another thing that is quite good is if you use a clean brush and then just pick up a bit of white spirit and maybe a little bit of liquid so it's it's there's no color on it and then you go over those lines in fact you probably can't see that so well but you need a little bit more white spirit you'll see it drags the color that's already on there and gives you that ripple look it's quite effective you see just in there the way that sort of dragged the the colors a little bit Anyway, I find that a really good way to do water, so give it a try. So, we find ourselves coming to the end of the picture. Everything is pretty much finished now, apart from the path, which, okay, looks a bit like a flattened snake. Um, but this is the bit, really, we're going to do now. It's half two. We're going to get it finished today, which is a bonus. these flowers. I'm putting them on quite thick, I'm not using any medium, so that's the paint as it comes straight out of the tube. And uh, putting it on just with the point of the brush there, nice and thick so that it stands sort of a, a, to a point now, just on that panel. And then when it's lit and the light is shining down from above, it's going to catch the top of those and really make them look vibrant. That is finally finished. So it, it took, in all, yesterday afternoon and all day today, and it's quarter past four. So it's not, not a bad effort, but um, I'm not gonna start another one now until tomorrow. Um, but yeah, oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't signed it. I better do that now.